Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It really helps me out, and you never want to miss a video of mine. So today's video is going to be a care video. Um, I do want to say some things before I start. I want to say um, I am sorry that I've been kind of um, unactive, which I guess I'm not really sorry about because there's just been stuff that's going on. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know. Um, but I I've tried. Uh, I I've. I've tried to make the video like a lot of times, but I just, I, I don't know if I should just kind of try and say it just like without crying or, or if I should just say it while crying and just make a video of me bawling. Um, but eventually I'll get to it. Uh, a very, 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 very special animal, um, of ours passed away. So yeah, that's, that's what's been going on. So, um, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know it already. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so today's video is a care video. Um, I do have a script and it is about five signs of stress in hamsters or five common stress that occur in hamsters. So um, the first one is bar chewing, which this is more common, obviously, if you have a wire cage or a critter trail. Um, it's more common in, obviously, new hamster owners that don't really know anything about hamsters and they get a critter trail and critter trails are such a stress house. Um, and so, obviously, they go and they bar chew. Um, hamsters usually bar chew from boredom or uh, lack of chew toys or obviously stress just from being in this little cage or from just coming home from their new um, environment or their old environment and moving to their new environment. They get that as well because obviously they were very stressed in the, the pet store and then they move in with you in a critter trail. It's just a very stressful time for them. Um, so how do you improve that? Start with the right size cage because it is very common, obviously, when you have a critter trail. There are um, wire cages out there, but usually they're big enough so there's enough toys. But if you're having that trouble even with um, the right size bar cage and their bar chewing, then I recommend either switching to a tank or getting more things for them to do, add more bedding, all that stuff. But in critter trails, it's very, very common and it's honestly... Uh, a little bit expected because that's just a very common sign of stress when you have a barcade. Eleanor lived in a crib trail and I could tell that she needed shoes so right when I moved her into my um, 75 gallon I put in like a bunch of chews for her because I could tell that she really needed those chews because she was chewing on the bar on on the bars of the crib trail. Second um, is kind of with the crib trails and the bar cage and stuff like that it is called monkey barring um again this happens when you have a bar cage uh not as much in a critter trail because they don't have a top that's monkey barring but if they are climbing on the wires in the um critter trail that kind of counts as a monkey barring type of thing but if i'll obviously pop up a video i'm not going to put any like hamsters getting hurt but it is signs of stress in the hamster um this happens because the hamster wants to get out of the cage. Now, like I said, it is just a boredom sign of stress, not because it likes to climb. That is a very, very, very common one. Um, people say, oh, my hamster monkey bars because they like to, they like um, climbing or my hamster chews the bars because it wants to chew. So it just chews on that. Or that's when I go ahead and feed it because it's showing that it wants to be fed. No. It is a sign of stress. It doesn't like to climb. It's not hungry. It's stressed out. It's not any other excuse. It's just stressed out or it's bored or it wants to get out of that cage because it's way too small. So um, how do you fix this? Now, I don't personally know that type of stuff because I've never had a wire cage and I've never had like really a stressed out hamster um, in that type of situation. So uh, you can take the hamster out to play in a playpen. Um, or give them more toys or you know give them more stuff to do in that cage so you don't have to give it so they don't have to even go ahead and do that type of stuff all right so the third thing is running around the cage so this is not like 
happy running around the cage because there is two different ways that they can run around the cage so if they're like running around the cage with like um a peanut in their mouth and they're running around that doesn't mean that they're stressed so it's a different type of running around their cage i will pop up a video and this is when i was like mm, i probably should add in the videos of them so it's not running around the cage it's like running along the like glass or the wire or whatever um and like jumping up and down while running that's what i mean by that um this is probably the most common stress sign uh you'll see it a lot at the pet stores because they're very small cages and those hamsters are very stressed out so that's probably the most like i've seen it a lot of times at the pet store why does this happen one again they want to get out of the cage because they they're bored um so another like you know if you see them doing that maybe take them out and put, put them in a playpen um and two they don't have anything to do so they don't have boredom breakers they don't have um you know hides and toys to play with so instead they're just showing that they are stressed and they want to get out of that cage so bad my advice with this one is probably the same as the last one so like i said uh, take them out of the cage when they're doing that or give them more stuff to do okay fourth is chattering <laughs> this is an exact indication that your hamster is stressed out um so that doesn't mean like when they chatter it doesn't mean that their whole entire life they're stressed out like the bar chewing the monkey barring and the running around their cage jumping and stuff that's an indication that your hamster is stressed out like completely but the chattering it's just a sign of stress it's not um a all their whole life is stressed you know um it's more of hey i want you to leave me alone or i didn't like what you just did to me uh they usually do it if like you're about to pick them up or if you do something while you're playing with them or something like that if they chatter that means put them back in their cage or just leave them alone uh, there's really no advice with that. It's just to kind of leave them alone because that's their way of communicating to you that they're either scared or they don't didn't like what you just did to them. Like that's their way of saying, hey, get off of me at, before I bet you. Like that that's their kind of sign. All right, the fifth one. <laughs> um, gonna be honest, I couldn't think of a fifth one, um, but I didn't want to be like four signs of stress in a hamster. So hi so when i was filming this video i didn't have a fifth one um because i couldn't think of a fifth one but i'm here and i'm going to tell you a fifth sign stress so it is a different day it's like two weeks later but we won't talk about that but anyway um so the fifth one kind of goes with the chattering but it is hissing because hissing is a little bit more of a tell sign that it is really stressed that it has to even hiss at you um i do have a video for you guys you can look up plenty of videos on each topic besides the running around and jumping i swear to god i've seen it so many times at the pet store i just have never i couldn't find a video i like looked for so long but i couldn't find a video but um yeah on each sign you can find topics of how to even fix the problem not even just a video of the hamster doing it but videos on how to help your hamster get through that you know bar chewing and monkey barring and all that stuff um but yeah i wanted to put in hissing as well because that is a sign of stress as well so yeah you guys are enjoying the video get back, back to the video um how do you fix a stressed hamster so like i kind of gave over you guys things to help with each one but how you overall fix a stressed hamster is get a big enough cage for them uh if they're in over the minimum which is 450 square inches get a bigger cage for them it's not enough space for them so they need a bigger size uh add a lot of toys add over seven inches of bedding so they can burrow and have a safe space for them add a bunch of two toys make sure that they have the right size wheel uh dwarfs seven to eight maybe nine inches syrians 10 to 12 inches depending on female or male whatever um and scatter feed them that is the main way to fix a stressed hamster uh some hamsters just have a very stressed out life 
uh, they can be in the right size cage, they can have all this fun stuff to do. And when it comes to that, just give them a lot of boredom breakers, give them stuff to do besides running on their wheel or burrowing and all that stuff. Give them boredom breakers. There are so many out there that are DIYs that you can just do that are safe for your hamsters. So I recommend that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the video. I expected it to be a lot longer. I prepared for this video. I wrote so much stuff and it took me nine minutes to film. Like what? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.